Hey everybody, All The Things here, and today we got another book review, and we're going to look at Super Intelligence. And this is a book by Nick Bostron, hope I pronounced that right, and uh, this is a book about artificial intelligence. The whole title is Super Intelligence Paths, Dangers, and Strategies. Uh, this book is about artificial intelligence, uh, specifically super intelligence, which is like um, when artificial intelligence gets to the point where it can like think for itself and uh, be great all on its own and it doesn't need humans. Um, and then it talks about paths, like how that happens, um, dangers, if maybe is that dangerous to humanity, is there ways to go about it that are worse than other ways and do we need to be cautious, and then also strategies because if we're going to try and take a path and there's dangers maybe we should come up with a strategy to like uh, not make it as dangerous as we can. This book is about 300 pages and I know I got a coffee stain on it because I was going camping but it's okay. Um, and it has no pictures in it and it's pretty dense but I really enjoyed it. It was hard to read, but it was much easier to read than Wealth of Nations. You can see my review on that. Um, but it is still kind of difficult to read because of the concepts it goes over. It's talking about some AI stuff. And I really think anybody could read this book. It's not like for mathematicians only. I'm not a mathematician. Um, but it's still a little bit dense. And the word, the wording is, uh, is pretty elegant. If you know what that means in terms of like how people write. It's very concise and they don't lengthen things out to be more explicative. They just keep things short and sometimes it gets kind of like, what, what does that mean? You gotta read it a couple of times. But um, this book, interestingly enough, talks about how to develop an AI and um, some of the dangers with doing that. And while I was reading this book, what I was thinking over and over and over is, all these ways and strategies and methods they're talking about developing AI sounds a lot like raising kids. And um, I really do think that this is an objective look at how to raise anything sentient. And in this case, it's artificial intelligence. But you could read this book and pick up a lot of good tips or paths, dangers, and strategies on parenting somebody that becomes super intelligent. But um, I thought that was like, the main takeaway for this book for me. I don't really think I'm going to get into building AIs. Maybe I will. But um, really interesting book. And uh, it talks about some things like what happens when the um, artificial intelligence or AI gets so smart that you can't control it anymore. Or what if uh, you build it like on one computer that's not connected to the internet? Can it figure out a way because it's so smart to get out of that computer and get onto the internet and like take over the world. There's different things like that that it talks about that are like possible things you might want to think about before you just go willy-nilly building a super intelligence on your computer. But um, I really think this book goes pretty in depth on all of that kind of stuff. So if you're interested in just an overview of what artificial intelligence is and where we are as humanity kind of like uh, building it, what we're concerned about, and how we're tackling those concerns. This is an excellent start, and I really think if you did nothing else, you could read this in two days. Um, but you would have to, like, do nothing else. Maybe you could read it in one day if you have laser eyes. But um, I still really think that this book is a good book. Um, and if you're into artificial intelligence or super intelligence, this is a great book. It's not all coding. There's words in here. There's like, the, the amount of math in here is so small that you could get away with reading this. Oh, there is a picture in here. Look at that. They got a picture. But, um, you don't really need to know too much math or coding to understand this book. You just need to be willing to understand concepts. So, uh, that's the book. It's a New York Times bestseller if you care about that. See, right there, bam. I think it goes kind of along the lines with um, that Yuval Noah Harari book that came after Sapiens, which was Homo Deus. And it's like, what's gonna happen in the future? Is it dangerous and should we prepare for it? So if you like that book, I did a review on that book and uh, you should read this book because it's not exactly the same thing because this focuses on artificial intelligence, but it's uh, like the same vein as like, oh, you know, humanity's come going to come up against some problems and uh, maybe we should look at them before they slap us in the face. 
So yeah, that's the book, Super Intelligence, Paths, Dangers, and Strategies by Nick Bostrom. And um, if you're into super intelligence or artificial intelligence or you're even interested and you have some time to read through a relatively dense book, then uh, I think that this is something you should put on your list and look into. If you like this video or you got something from it, please like, comment, or subscribe to help me make more videos, I guess. Um, and also, if you do read this book, or if you have any other like uh, interesting things about artificial intelligence or super intelligence or stuff like that, link me to it, because this is really interesting. This is really my first kind of segue into artificial intelligence, and I really liked it, aside from the fact that it was super dense. Um, but if you have some other stuff, send it my way, and maybe we can have a conversation about it. Anyways, this is all the things. I'm signing out. Super intelligence. It's a really good book, super dense, so be careful if you start reading it. Um, it does take some energy to finish.